Okay, welcome back guys. In today's video, we're going to be solving another question from chapter 2 of Pierre and Johnson. And we have this trolley that moves along a horizontal beam and the beam is acted upon by two forces as we can see in the figure. We need to determine by trigonometry the magnitude and the direction of the force P so that the resultant is a vertical force with a magnitude of 2500 newton so what we have in here we have this 1600 newton force and the other force that we have is the force p which we need to figure out the magnitude and we have the resultant and we have the force p which we need to figure out the magnitude and we have the resultant of these two which is the vector that connects the tail of first vector to the head of second vector and from the question we know the r is 2500 newton and also we know this angle here is 15 degrees so since this angle is right triangle this will be 90 minus 15 or 75 degrees and we need to figure out the force p and both magnitude and direction. So for finding the P, uh, we're gonna use law of the cosine. For law of cosine, we know that P squared is equal to 1600 squared plus R squared, which is 2500 squared minus two times first, for first vector to second one, and the angle would be the angle between 600 and 2500 which is 75 and so will be cosine of 75 degrees so if we calculate this we'll get 2596 newton for p which is the magnitude of the force p and if we do the law of sines we can find let's call this angle alpha so we will have 1600 divided by sine of alpha p over sine of 75 degrees from here we found p we know p was 2596 and from here we can find the sine of alpha which will be 1600 times sine of 75 degrees divided by 2596 and alpha will be sine inverse of 1600 times sine of 75 divided by 2596 so if we calculate this amount with the calculator we can find the alpha 36.5 but that's not over so far what we found in here was the angle alpha but the way we report the p at the end is that so we found our p this one which will be the line of action will be here so we have this angle here 36.5 so if that's the angle this one is also 36.5 and what we are interested in is this angle which is 90 minus 36.5 degrees or 53.5 and if you want to show our p the p will be 2596 newton and the angle will be this angle over here which was 53.5 degrees and that would be the answer for the direction part of the question and so we have to start with the law of cosine in order to find the magnitude of p we couldn't start with uh, directly the law of sine because we are missing an angle and we are also missing one the magnitude of force p so we had to use the law of cosine at the beginning to find the, the magnitude of P and we continued from there with the P that we found and law of sines. And obviously the other way was to use the uh, X and Y components of each of these two forces and at the end our Rx or the X component of resultant will be sum of all forces in X direction and same for the y but since we were asked to use the trigonometry we couldn't have used this one but it would have been a good practice um, to see if you guys get the same answer or no so let me know if you did the other way and that would be all for this question please make sure to subscribe to the channel let me know if you have any specific problem that you need some help with i can uh, cover that problem in the next videos you guys take care and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.